Welcome to our exploration of the Stone Flower, a captivating Slavic tale by Pavel Bajov. This story, set in the rugged Ural Mountains, delves into themes of artistic obsession, supernatural elements, and the conflict between creative passion and human love. Pavel Bajov, born in 1879 near Yekaterinburg, was influenced by his upbringing in the Ural mining region. His childhood experiences, filled with the sounds of pickaxes striking stone, the rumble of ore carts, and the glitter of freshly unearthed gems, shaped his storytelling. The soot-stained faces of miners returning from their shifts and the whispered legends shared around flickering hearths left an impression on young Bajov's imagination. His collection, The Malachite Box, which includes the stone flower, blends folklore with social commentary, reflecting the relationship between humans and nature in Slavic culture. Each tale in the collection serves as a window into the world of the Urals, where the boundary between the mundane and the mystical often blurs. The tale unfolds in the Ural Mountains, a setting rich in precious stones and steeped in folklore. These ancient peaks, with their dense forests and hidden caves, have long been a source of wonder for the local people. In Slavic tradition, these mountains are home to various supernatural beings, including the Mistress of Copper Mountain, a spirit who guards the mineral riches and wields control over nature. She is said to appear as a woman of beauty, her hair shimmering with green highlights, her gown adorned with precious stones. Such nature spirits embody the power of the natural world in Slavic lore, serving as intermediaries between mortals and elemental forces. They are both revered and feared, known for their capricious nature and their ability to bestow gifts or curses upon those who encounter them. The story centers on Danila, a talented stonecutter's apprentice. From childhood, Danila was drawn to the textures of stones, finding solace in their forms. As a young boy, he would spend hours by the riverbank, running his fingers over smooth pebbles and rough-hewn rocks, seeming to communicate with them in a language only he understood. His hands shape malachite with skill, creating pieces that capture nature's beauty. Each cut, each polish reveals new patterns within the stone, as if Danila were coaxing out secrets hidden within its depths. Danila's mentor, an old and respected craftsman with gnarled hands and eyes that sparkle with decades of wisdom, recognizes his gift and teaches him to listen to the stone's whispers. The old man shares ancient techniques passed down through generations, but also warns Danila of the dangers that come with such talent, the risk of losing oneself in the pursuit of perfection. Malachite holds significance in this tale. This green stone, with its banded patterns of light and dark, embodies power and beauty in Slavic lore. In the hands of skilled craftsmen, it transforms into works of art, decorative vases, jewelry, and even entire rooms adorned with malachite panels. It becomes a catalyst for Danila's artistic journey, symbolizing the allure of perfection and the supernatural. The surface of malachite under Danila's fingers evokes a connection to the earth itself, each unique pattern telling a story of ancient formation. As he works, Danila often loses track of time, enraptured by the swirling patterns that seem to come alive beneath his touch. As Danila's skills grow, so does his obsession with creating the perfect malachite flower. This pursuit begins to consume his time, threatening his connection to Katya, his devoted love interest. Katya, with her warm brown eyes and hands calloused from years of weaving, was raised in a family of skilled weavers. She understands the pull of artistic creation, but struggles to reconcile it with Danila's growing detachment. The contrast between Katya's world of soft fabrics and Danila's realm of unyielding stone symbolizes the widening emotional gap between them. Where once they would spend evenings walking hand in hand through the village, now Danila rushes home to his workshop, barely sparing a glance for Katya's concerned face. Danila's quest for perfection leads him to an encounter with the mistress of Copper Mountain. During an expedition deep into the mountains, braving treacherous paths and cliffs, he ventures into a hidden cavern. The air inside is thick with the scent of minerals and an otherworldly energy that makes the hairs on Danila's arms stand on end. 
The mistress appears before him, her form shimmering between that of a beautiful woman and a living Malachite statue. Her eyes, deep as mountain lakes, seem to peer into Danila's soul. Recognizing Danila's talent, she offers him access to her realm of artistic possibilities in exchange for his mortal existence. The cavern around them comes alive with creations, flowers made of gemstones that sway in an unfelt breeze, statues so lifelike they seem to breathe. Mesmerized by the prospect of ultimate artistic achievement, Danila accepts her offer, his voice barely a whisper in the echoing chamber. In the mistress's magical realm, Danila's artistic skills reach supernatural levels. He crafts intricate flowers and sculptures so realistic they seem to breathe, their petals catching light that doesn't exist in this underground world. Time loses meaning as Danila works tirelessly, his fingers dancing across stone surfaces, bringing forth creations that defy the laws of nature. However, as his artistry flourishes, the line between creator and creation becomes indistinct. Danila's skin takes on a greenish tinge, his movements becoming as fluid and graceful as the stone he shapes. The boundary between his body and the malachite he works with blurs, threatening to sever his ties to the mortal world. Meanwhile, Katya embarks on her own journey to find Danila. Her quest symbolizes the strength of human connection amidst supernatural artistry. Katya faces numerous physical and emotional challenges braving treacherous mountain passes where icy winds threaten to sweep her from narrow ledges. She encounters mystical beings from Ural folklore, helpful forest spirits who guide her path with glowing lichens, and mischievous rock gnomes who try to lead her astray. Each trial strengthens her resolve, transforming her from a village girl into a woman capable of challenging the supernatural itself. Her once soft hands become roughened by her journey, but her heart remains steadfast in its love for Danila. The climax of the story builds as Danila faces his defining moment. Having created a stone flower of beauty, its petals so delicate they seem to flutter in the still air of the underground realm, he begins to realize the steep price of perfection is his humanity. As he gazes at his creation, he sees not just the flower, but reflections of the life he left behind. Katya's smile, the warmth of the sun on his face, the simple joy of a shared meal with loved ones. Katya's enduring love penetrates the magical realm, her voice echoing through the caverns like a lifeline to the world above. Danila finds himself forced to confront the choice between his artistic obsession and the warmth of human love. Danila's decision to return to the mortal world with Katya exemplifies the Slavic reverence for human connection over artistic perfection. This resolution echoes through Ural tales, reinforcing the cultural value placed on love, loyalty, and the grounding force of mortal bonds in the face of otherworldly temptations. As Danila and Katya emerge from the mountain, blinking in the sunlight, they are changed. Danila's eyes now hold a hint of otherworldly knowledge, while Katya stands taller, strengthened by her ordeal. Their intertwined hands symbolize the balance they have found between artistic passion and human connection. The stone flower illuminates artistic dilemmas, mirroring the challenges faced by creators across disciplines. The tale's wisdom emphasizes the importance of balance, cautioning against sacrificing meaningful relationships for the sake of one's craft. It suggests that resonant art emerges not from isolation, but from a life fully lived and deeply felt. Danila's experiences in both the mortal and magical realms inform his future work, allowing him to create pieces that capture not just the beauty of stone, but the essence of human experience. The story's themes resonate beyond its Slavic origins, offering insights into the creative process and the importance of maintaining human bonds amid artistic passion. It serves as an exploration of the artist's struggle between the pursuit of their craft and the nurturing of human relationships. The tale reminds us that true mastery comes not just from technical skill, but from the ability to infuse one's work with the spectrum of human emotion and experience. The stone flower stands as a testament to Bajov's storytelling and his understanding of Ural folklore. Through the journeys of Danila and Katya, 
the tale weaves together themes of artistic obsession, supernatural wonder, and the power of human love. It reminds us that true artistry flourishes not in isolation, but in harmony with human relationships and the full spectrum of mortal experience, reflecting beliefs about the nature of art and human existence. The story continues to captivate readers, its lessons about balance and the source of artistic inspiration remaining relevant today as when Bajaw first wrote it 